welcome back to Mango Plays Planet Zoo and you can see I've done a little bit of work between episodes, moved all the staff buildings over here and popped in a information centre, a gulpy soda, cheap beef and a loony balloons. Um, and I was just working on a little water feature, just, I'd not played with any of the water features at all so I was just playing around with this and this announcement that happened and I was like oh it must pause are you gonna give birth in the water I didn't even know my Gariel was pregnant <laughs> I think I have a very fertile zoo because from what I remember reading in the Komodo dragons bit they're supposed to be hard to breed also I put a little umbrella in here <laughs> I found it in the decorations and I thought it was awesome. Yes, it, it's an umbrella. Are you, you looking for a place to nest? Oh! Here we go! Ah, oh, we got two! Three. Okay. Might be four. There might be a bug. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. We have Ishani, a female. Mitai, which is another female. Divya, Divya, another female. And Arahi, another female. Wow, we got four females. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow, you were incredibly fertile. Way to go, Kian. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to get in um, some vendors at the moment. And we have completed a challenge. Yes, numbers. Have at least 300 guests in the zoo. Let's claim the rewards. What what, what did we get? Nothing. Oh, okay, great. So I was, I was playing with this. Trying to get nice water feature. <laughs> it's alright. It's not great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we'll wait until the night has passed. Okay, so today I plan on doing some decorating of these uh, shops. I think I can get another one in here. So I'm going to plan kind of one in there and another five on this side. Um, a bit extreme, I know. Oh, 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 oh! I just noticed the big issue. Um, bin. Where's the bins? Bin. Ha ha ha! Mmm. Mmm. What's up, these bins? Okay, so, um, I wasn't noticing any litter, but then again, I wasn't selling anything, so I guess that would be why that was not happening. Don't accidentally throw money in the bins, guys. Just sort of throwing them down. Um, let's see if I can... Get some seats or benches. Okay, so weird editing mango voiceover. I basically um, really struggled to build and talk at this point in time. Um, but I, I get, I'm quite proud with what I managed to achieve in this building. Um, base is quite basic. It's, it's trying to sort of fit with the wooden modernish theme um for the beginning part of our zoo um i played around with the roofing which uh, shapes and me seem to struggle with <laughs> but I, I think it kind of worked out also bear in mind at this point in time we haven't got many pieces because it hasn't been researched um so i didn't have much that i could choose from we do have the modern theme um so that's good which is what I primarily used um, all the parts from. Okay, 
in a moment, we're about to shoot back to normal commentary. I'll be back with you shortly. What? Stop breeding! <laughs> I need a Komodo baby dragon wrangling area. One of these might be have to be reused for a bit. Oh dear. I think genuinely these guys should not be easy to breed. No, I wanted this. We look in species data. Reproduction in captivity is difficult. There's there too many kids, I can't go. Editing Mango back with you. Yeah, we got the magical disappearing people. I still don't understand why I could not get that path um, in. I think I mentioned it at the end of the episode as well. It really frustrated me. Um, but we got loads of um, decorations down. I really, really like these sort of surrounds that are sort of pre-built um, with Planet Zoo. I think they had them for Planet Coaster as well. And I, I just kind of really like uh, the glass panels as well here. They're really, really pretty. I think I'm going to be using them quite a lot over the zoo. I really struggled with the toilets. I feel uh, they're not as easy to Britify as the uh, shops. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to, I think, look into that. The statues are, are just absolutely amazing and I can't wait until we unlock all of the themes. Because I've got a feeling quite a lot of the uh, statues etc from other themes will really look nice. It doesn't matter what theming you have, you could probably make it blend in quite well. Um, but yeah, this, this is the vendor area of our entrance hopefully you like the look of it i do a sort of better showing off of it in a moment and i'm going to go back to video commentary in three two one well there we go um could be better obviously um and this site is really empty <laughs> but i quite like what i did here um and we got to use some of the new world statues and signs and and bits and pieces i really really love these glass panels um i think they're fantastic and really sort of fit with between the shops and um yeah just a little bit of metal work as well i don't know why i couldn't put a path here but they seem to be able to use the toilets none nonetheless so that's not too bad. I think what I do um, between episodes is put some more um, drinks uh, in because the drinks and the souvenirs seem to be quite busy. I probably also need to get some more vendors to cover whilst they're off. I did put a couple of um, seats here. Um, you see, I've got this water. Um, for oh, I forgot lights. That is thing I did forget. Um, but I do just need to check in on the puppies because, yeah, I don't want these to become snacks. I will remember where things are. Let's see. Five years off. We are, um, we are starting to move towards it. Let's see. Let's grab this guy. Have a look at the Zoopedia. Run over four years. Okay, I've got a little bit of time to be able to move them in there. So I've got time to do some lighting. I was playing with the sunshade. I'm not sure how effective it is. I, I, I did find it kind of cool, but I think I will probably uh, delete that. Um, so yeah, let's get some lighting in because we've got new lights. We actually have lights now. 
Look at all of these light. So, hanging lights. We got the little strip lights, which are kind of cool. Um. No, I mean, they're, they're cool. They're not amazing. Look at that vendor jumping back with some paws behind there. Um, can't do you. Okay. What about these things? I mean, they're brighter. Mm, I'm not a fan of much of the lighting just yet, but we've had a little bit, which has helped a lot. I really like the way the um, front shop is lit up. I do need to find some bits to cover these little green patches. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with what we got. We have <laughs> babies beyond galore and a wondrous, wondrous um, visitor center for when they... What? No. No. What? Again, again, really? Wow, okay, but actually, let's uh, have a look because we've done a lot more research in the Gario, so um, that was the wrong button. What we got in Richmond food? That's uh, just Frozen pumpkins. Why can I not pop that down? Let's see. Do you have enough now? Yeah, they do. Cool. Um, but was there anything new? Uh, prey stick rubbing. Scent blood. Yeah. All pretty standard. So, how many gyros? We have nine in here. Oh no. <laughs> um, up to seven males, up to seven females. Okay, we're alright. We're alright with the gargoyles actually. They're not like the crocs. They're not going to get massively angry and upset. Um, these guys, however, throw the dragon of eight. Yeah, I I need to um don't chase don't chase the keeper. Nope. I need to uh, basically create a little pen over here or something for our commodos. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. Let me know um what you think of my build. <laughs> Not as good as some of the professionals out there, but hopefully you enjoyed. And I will. See you in the next one. Bye for now. The babies are so cute.